Hello, it's William here, and I want to show the Vuzik Station AD, this version Alpha 02, so Alpha 2, the second Alpha. And um, I have added uh, some new features. I was away for two months due to a medical problem, so for two months I couldn't code, so I apologize for the delay on this one. But um, I'm back again, and uh, I should be working non-stop from now on. So for this ve version I have added a master limiter. If I add a new layer here you can see there is a, a LED on the bottom of the master volume. If you click on it you can also enable disable or you can go to options and do from there. And the master limiter is just to to help uh, tame some loud sounds when you are tweaking and doing some sound creation and something like that. Uh, during normal usage is not going to be to be a, a problem so don't worry too much about that. So let me add a sound here just to show it working. Let me lower my sound card volume. You can see that it's acting up. If I disable it, it's going to clip. And if I enable it, it does what it should do. This is uh, the master limiter goes after everything. So all the presets and layers are summed up into a final uh, audio, and that audio uh, the mass limiter is applied. So it's really it's, it's really a great feature for getting rid of the, the loud noises when you're trying to create something with filters and, and effects and stuff like that. Another thing I have added to the 8x8 eight eight pad sample player is that uh, each uh, pad now has four effect sends. One, two, three, and four. So let's say I want this one to send to effect one, and I'm going to select the second one. So now I have two sounds. The sound two I'm going to send to, to send two. So if I select one and the other, you can see what's going on. Let me remove the release time. I'm playing from the MIDI keyboard now. So now if I go to my effects and I go global send one, I can add, let's say, a stereo delay. Let me change a bit this delay. And now I go go to Global Send 2 and add a reverb instead. So I'm just going to use the basic reverb. This is a, lo a very long one. So now you have two global sends. This is per preset. So if you open the multi preset chainer, uh, I'm not going to show now, but you can uh, add another preset and it's going to have its own global sends. So each preset has a global send uh, collection, let's say. And you have uh, eight sends that you can send each layer. So this layer right now, what it's doing, I have one pad sending to to global one and another one sending to global send number two. But I can also go here on the layer send effect and select the whole layer also sends to layer one. Uh, I don't think it's 
is really summing the audio. I, I will have to take a look. But the idea is that you can also send the layer audio to the sound effects. I may have to fix this because it's not really working right now. Uh, another thing you have you can notice is that on the global send and also on the layering certs, you can see that there are dry and wet for each effect because those effects are processed in series. So if I click here on options, I can select, let's say, the send one to be in parallel. So now you're going to see a volume instead. So if I add another thing here, let's say I add a, another delay and add a very slow delay. And I change a bit the I'm going to filter a bit. So now, now I have the two delays being processed in parallel because uh, the processing series serial is no longer selected for the send one. So I can select just one if I want. So you get the idea. You can have eight cents. The, the insert is going, f is going to be for the layer that we have selected. So let me close it now and go back here. I also have added a, a very simple option here on the key zone. So on the key zone, if I want to select a, a note from my keyboard, I just press the note on the keyboard instead of having to type the note. So now... I can go there and select again and, and press the MIDI note on the keyboard. It's just something small, but it really helps. And uh, I have also added <coughs> the sample player and wave sequencer layer, but uh, it's still missing a lot of features, but I have already, already started. So let me initialize my preset here and uh, go from here. And uh, it's a few things are, are already working. So I can now add sounds. So let's see here. I can insert a new sound. So now I have two sounds. And I can go to the mix and select round robin if, if, I, want, uh, if I want. And uh, just like the, with the pads player, I can edit the, the sound. And uh, this edit is saved on the actual preset. Doesn't change the sound. Uh, I'm going to put some information on the screen somehow, because this is important. And um, right now, this, this layer type is not doing a lot, but it's already working a few things. And I'm trying to remember, let me take a look. Just let me take a look at the readme file, because I don't really remember everything. So let's see, we have the pads player layer type, and now the sample player I'm working on. I added the effects area, the mass limiter, oh, the global, global settings. So now if you click on here on, on the G global settings, or if I go on the layers list and go on global, you have the option to select the A tuning, the global MIDI channel, and also the key zones for the, for the global preset settings. And also I'm working on a preset on key option.
So this is for the preset, but I can also go on a layer and select on key options. And uh, this will allow you to switch presets and layers or select random, round robin and latch. And this is something I'm also working on. And it's going to help a lot. Uh, I, I added several effects already, so let me show the list of effects. The basic reverb, it's a, how to say, algorithm reverb. With freeze option and delay on, on the left channel option. Then let me remove everything. Then you have the distortion. It's a different distortion effect. Then you have the double chorus. It's a very nice chorus effect. It's the same one I created years ago for Vuzik Station and I'm still working. I'm going to leave the the convolution re re reverb for, for last. Uh, multi equalizer, you have the high pass, a low pass, and two boost frequencies. Let me put all wet. So this is the multi equalizer. Then we have the peak equalizer. It's a bit hard to, to hear because uh, the sound I'm playing doesn't have all the frequencies. So, but it's it works really 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 great. The stereo delay is the same I have been using for years too. I just added the degrade option. This is so fun to use. <laughs> the studio reverb is a more robust reverb. And it, it has a handy feature where you can uh, uh, reset when it's over a certain value because if you play around with the sustain in the input, it produces this feedback. So I can use this to reset when it's over a certain value. And it produces this gate effect, so it's really handy. Then you have the tape oxide, which is going to give a bit of a tape feel. Uh, it's 
distorting a bit right now, so let me put a bit less. But it's a great effect. Then comes the the impulse response convolution reverb, which you have a library of uh, reverbs that you can play. Uh, this one I forgot to mention how to install, but uh, if you go, oh, I forgot to add the data files too. So I have to add the data files and then I'm going to add there. So I, I forgot to put there on the on the install files. I'm going to, to put that later today or tomorrow. But the idea is, is that you can go here and select and you can boost the audio. Also delay the input. And it has a very nice sound. And at any time you can right click on the effects to bypass it. All the effects on this preset. So you can see that everything is working, it's very robust and uh, it's working really great. And uh, I think that's pretty much it. Let me take a look. The Multi sample sounds loading is working. Uh, everything else here is, was already working before. So the most thing I did was I added the effects area, the new layer type, updated servo graphics elements like the menus. You can see now the menus are more easier to, to, to understand and see. Fixes some uh, uh, stability, stability problems. You can see that it's working rock solid. The master limiter I added, the global settings, the layer on key options, which I'm still working, but I already added. The, the new effects, including the convolution reverb. And uh, that's it. I'm going to create another video soon with some of, of the fixes that I'm going to be finding. And uh, also how to set up the data folder, which I, f I forgot to add on the installer. But I'm going to do this soon and uh, add as, uh, another file. So, okay, that's it. Thanks for watching.